Sometimes disqualifications in judo are not only unfair or hurtful, sometimes they are even ridiculous. And in today's video I will show you a selection of the funniest and most ridiculous disqualifications in judo history. This episode is quite unique and not yet repeated in the history of judo. I had never seen anything like that before. It was at the Grand Slam tournament in Dusseldorf. Then the two Japanese super heavyweights Harusawa Hisayoshi in white and Takashi Ojitani in blue met each other in the finals. From the very beginning of the match the judokas were wrestling passively, chasing each other with takedowns and holding each other down. To which the referee promptly began hanging reprimands on one and the other. After almost every passive episode, he gave Shido to the two Japanese, which was well deserved. Not even three minutes passed as the referee again stops the fight giving Shido to one and the other judoka, and thus there is no winner in this fight. And since this is the final, there are no category champions. Harasawa Hisayoshi's face speaks for itself, he didn't understand what happened and what to do, whether to be happy or not. And here is the funniest moment, this is the podium of the tournament with two third places and two second places. And the first place of the podium is empty. And in this footage, Ojitani and Hisayoshi look like the schoolboys who messed up and stand in front of the principal. The next moment happened at the Grand Slam tournament in Baku. Then a judoka from Portugal and a judoka from Sweden fought each other. A few seconds into the fight, the phone falls out of the kimono of the judoka in white. By the way, the very funny reaction of the Swedish judoka, who immediately picked it up and decided to give it back. So to say, look it's not mine, it fell not me, and I had nothing to do with it. And of course Hansoku make to the wrestler in the white kimono and the end of the meeting. The next episode took place with the Russian Medina Tamazova who became a bronze medalist of the 2021 Tokyo Olympics and was one of the best young judoka of the year. The episode took place at a tournament in Maribor in 2017. It was a semi-final against Agath Devtry of France. A very important encounter depends on whether Medina will have a guaranteed medal or not, whether she will reach the final or not. The fight goes to Parter and Agath Devtry tries a choke hold with a clinch, which ends unsuccessfully for the Frenchwoman. And then the referee notices something falling out of the Russian's kimono, and what is it? The phone again. Very unfortunate episode, because the rules say she will be disqualified. I think to explain to many, how come the judokas wear kimonos? There is no need to explain. But to some I will explain. During warm-up, the judokas usually wear headphones to listen to music and stretch, and put the phone in their kimono from where it won't fall out due to the belt. And here's the bottom line. A very unfortunate disqualification of Medina Tamazova, who knew beforehand how it would end. And here is one more very amusing and sometimes even strange episode. It was at the European Championships in Warsaw in 2017. Then the Azerbaijani team and the Ukrainian team fought for the bronze, and as you can see on the scoreboard Azerbaijan was already winning 3-0. That means the current clash between Mediev and Sinevsky will not decide anything. Even if Mediev loses, and the Azerbaijani decided to make a noble gesture towards the Ukrainian and refused to meet, and roughly speaking to give a pawn to his opponent. The referee gives the pawn and separates the opponents. The Ukrainian rejoices with his team in victory, which looks pretty funny. But then something went wrong, and the judges of the European Judo Union began to actively discuss something among themselves. The teams assembled and it was decided to give the victory to the Ukrainian team, because apparently Madiev did not act according to the judo canon or the regulations. That was the story. Such is the friendship between Ukraine and Azerbaijan that they even give victories to each other in tournaments. And the Ukrainians were unspeakably happy about it, which looks pretty funny. The team split up and the Ukrainians went off to celebrate their third place in the European Championship. That's judo, and even that can happen. <laughs> 